Question number 15. Calculate the effective rate if A. 16% is to be compound quarterly year. Okay. Soalan nak effective rate. Ha, so, tengok balik apa formula effective rate. Effective rate equals to RE. Ha, dia ada E yang effective. 1 plus J over M power of M minus 1. Okay, just masukkan je lah dalam formula ini. Okay, question yang pertama. 16% is to be compound quarterly year. 16% means RE equals to 1 plus J. Persen je lah. Dia punya interest rate dia. So, 0 0.16. M nya refer kepada compound. Dia beritahu compound dia quarterly. So, divide by 4. M nya refer kepada compound 4 minus 1. Then we calculate, we get answer 0 0.1699. Since ini adalah rate, effective rate. So, kita darabkan dengan 100. Then we get answer 19.99%. Okay, question B. 15%. So, rate dia, J dia adalah 15%. Compound annually, monthly and weekly. So, ada tiga. Kita kena cari. Yang pertama, kita cari annually dulu. So, 1 plus 0 0.15 divided by annually. Annually satu lah. Okay, M dia satu minus 1. So, dapat berapa? 0 0.15. 1.5. Dia darabkan dengan 100. So, we get 15%. Ni untuk annually. Kalau monthly, masih lagi sama. 1 plus 0.15. Uh, bila monthly, kena divide by 12 lah. Okay, power of 12 minus 1. So, we calculate. We get answer 0.1600. Okay, darab dengan 100, then we get 16.08%. And last, weekly. Okay, weekly. Weekly nak divide berapa kalau mingguan? 1 plus 0 0.15 divide by, tengok balik dalam nota. Ada dia beritahu weekly berapa. Okay, 52. M dia 52 lah sebab weekly. Minus 1. Then we get answer. 0. 0.1616. Okay, times with 100, then we get answer 16.16%. 16